All right. What's going on? Um, 13 days. 13 days till bow season starts here in Virginia. Um, my bow is all good and slated in, but my wife's bow isn't. Um, she's got the, the spot hog, the, the fast steady, the double stack. Um, we're going to try to reset it in today, get everything kind of where it should be. She hadn't shot in a whole bunch. Um, so we're going to see if we can kind of get everything back to centered where it's supposed to be at. So we've got our calibration scales. We're going to go through it how I do it, how I do it. Y'all know that I do my stuff different than everybody else. Um, but by watching people with the YouTube education, I should be able to figure it out pretty good. So we're going to go ahead and get started. We're at 20 yards. We're going to get her to sight in her 20 yard pin here on the top. <clears throat> and then we're going to put on our, our scale. So y'all stay along through the whole process and I'll show you how I do it. I'm not saying it's right, not saying it's wrong, but we'll see how it goes. All right. That's your 20. Cool. All right, so found your 20. So we're going to come to the calibration scale. I'm going to make a cut here. A little crooked. All right. I'm going to poke off. So now we have our calibration scale. I'm going to trim it down a little bit. All right, so I'm going to walk over here. Where's your bow at? So, bow. So the 20 indicator is going to go at the top right here. That's what we cited in that 20. And then when we find our 60, whichever of these is laying on, is going to be whichever tape um, that it goes to. So I'm going to put this on. I'm trying to think of where it would be better to. Maybe with this bow rack over here. A little more eye level, you know, short people. 20 is going to line up with the top 20 indicator. Right there, perfect. Roll that around. Right. Let's say it ain't got to be, these don't have to be perfect down through here, but you like to have that top indicator on it. So now, see how that's on that so what we can do we got side what we're gonna do is we're gonna shoot you know 30 40 50 60 one time make sure she's hitting the bag and we'll just keep on keep on moving moving until we hit the the 60 mark once we hit that and she gets consistent within a group like softball style because I mean, you're not gonna be able to hit like a like a ping pong at 60 yards every single time unless you're like some professional archer i don't know like cam haynes or levi morgan whatever so once we start doing that, um, we can pick whichever one these is on, and then put our slight tape on and make sure everything's going to be hitting where it's at. So we're going to move outside. And we'll... Thirty. Shoot an arrow there. If we hit them, we'll move back. All right. Let's go on back to forty. Now right, we're at 40. Move your sight. Keep going. All right. Try that. We should be getting close to your the 60. Like, all right. Kick it on back. 49. Move it a good chunk. Right there. Seems like it's a nice little distance. Move it again. Farther? Mm -hmm. um, yep, move it a good chunk. How about that chunk? Is that a big chunk? A decent chunk, yeah. All right. Move it a really big chunk and then step back here to 60. One cool thing about the place we're at is it already has some pre-marked ranges. A middle, take your time, see where it hits. Just like a tad, because it could have been you, it could have been anything. Pink. 
perfect. Good shot. Here, shoot you another one. Calibration scale, like I said, 60. Um, it says she was an eight. So eight's what was actually already on there. Um, it was just, it wasn't in the right spot, right? So every single year you change something a little bit and I think um, Hales was her anchor point. So we're gonna go ahead and put this back on. Try to get it as close. All right, that looks like it's pretty money to me. What do you think? Looks good to me. All right, so we're gonna pinch that down. And we're just gonna roll it. Shoot. Roll it all the way. Push that so we can clean it all. All right. So now, her second pin should be a 32 yard shot. So, we're gonna walk back over here. They have like, so the cool thing about here, I've, I've already explained I love how I love Augusta Archers, right? So we've said they got the two courses, they've got the indoor 20, they got the outdoor, or we're just shooting at, that's, I think it's 40, 45, 50, 55, and 60. So you have, or no, it's 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. And over here, you've got 15, 20, 25, 30. So you got, you get your short ranges, long ranges. So we're gonna go over here, we're gonna shoot 30. We're gonna move her sight tape and see how the adjustment goes. And it should be set up pretty well. All right, new sight tape installed. Let's see. Now I'm gonna go middle left. Okay. Now this is this is the fun part. You can either make your bottom pin your forty, right? Or you can hey, make that's your top like money though, thirty and forty. Right. It's just my twenty, or well, your it's top. when my top is on twenty that it's off. Well, and if that, that might be how you want like to stay, and you just right. know to your thirty is going to be right there near your twenty. Right. Aim yeah. at a different dot. All right, we'll go middle right. They're actually from our good shot. Twenty yards. And shooting most of the time. Oh, she's a oh. good shot. You just do your thing. That was good. That was really good. Good shooting. Better. Really good shots. I'll take it considering my shoulder is completely dead. Yeah. Can't see the touch in. Yep. So. That's good. It works. Good job. Thank you. Good. And now throughout the evening we can shoot at the house and do stuff like that because we know that she's dialed in and we can shoot at our little 12 by 12 target we have. Okay. So that's why I like coming here. You have big targets, a lot of area to miss. So we're on to the next one. So like I said, um, she sighted in with the Matthews the Prima, the Spot Hog Fast Daddy double stack, um, 400 spine carbon aftermath from Easton. I don't even think they make them anymore. I don't know. So mm -hmm. she's got about she's got a dozen of these. So hopefully this will get us through this year. 
and maybe next year I might build her an arrow like I've built myself. It just kind of depends on what she wants to do. So other than that, um, we're done here. That'll be all for today. Um, in the weeks to come, you know, you'll see me, Anthony, and Steven hopefully next Sunday. We'll be out here messing around, making fools of ourselves, um, carrying around some weight, getting our, getting our heart beat up, and taking some shots. Opening weekend's coming up soon. We're going to hunt a little bit. Um, Anthony's hunting all weekend. I'm just hunting that Saturday. So stay tuned for everything like that. Um, thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, obviously. Um, I know a lot of people watch them. They just don't subscribe. And unfortunately, I'm one of them. I do it a lot to the different channels. But it does help a little bit. So don't forget to subscribe. Um, go follow us on Instagram. Our podcast on Spotify. We hadn't posted in a while. Um, but we'll get around to it a little bit more here once kind of the season starts rolling in and we have more stories to tell from our hunts. So thank you all again for watching. We'll see you next Sunday.